Ah, it's Saturday morning. It's wet as heck where I'm at. And we are going to be setting up in the mud on Small Business Saturday. I'm one of those small businesses. And I hope there's a bunch of eager wallets looking to... Uh, why is that guy looking at me funny like that, huh? Why do you think he's looking at me like that? Uh, yeah. Bring me some hopium. Actually, you know what I need? I need some of that hopium Heem just did. I just watched him do 15 minutes telling you how Token Air is going to be is is going to once they get a whale in there or something, they fuck around with the contract. It's going to be just as uh, good as Pyrobank and e e Aether, uh, uh, as far as like stability is concerned. This is an academic telling you. Flat out fucking lies. Same guy who fucking, I don't know if he did, but I know damn well Trev took a big wad of cash out of Token Air. And now he's telling you guys to stick more in. I wonder the fuck why. You don't think uh, Trev is going broke like Richard Hart and Tone Vase? Not that they're ever going to go broke to the point where they ever have to like work like for a real living like the rest of us. But like broke like the sense like, oh, I can't afford that. I don't can't buy this. I can't buy that. So now they got to fucking scam you. Hex! All right. So that's not what we came here for today. I was going to do a uh, number five, five scammer of the day, but Virgil Griffith. Virgil Griffith. This motherfucker. Okay. Let me tell you about Virgil Griffith really quick. I didn't know shit about this guy until a few seconds ago. And I still don't know shit about him because I think it's just all a big story. Everything I ever fucking read, unless I actually get slammed in the face and bleed from it, I don't believe it. Um, or I'm holding it in my hands. I can taste, touch, feel, or smell it. I'll believe that because that's reality. All this shit here, you and me and this conversation and all that shit you read that I'm about to share with you, it's a fucking story. Get it through your thick fucking head. All right, and here's the story for the day. Ver Roger, Roger Verse tweeted out that, that Virgil Griffith, motherfucker, is in jail. Looking at 20 years. Why is Virgil Griffith, an Ethereum uh, a developer, um, looking at 20 years in jail? Well, because apparently this stupid motherfucker went to North Korea to the N uh, uh, NK, D DPRNK, or whatever, went to the North Korea Republic, the second ever cryptocurrency conference, went there and decided to tell the North Korean government or the people attending this cryptocurrency conference, how the North Korean government can avoid sanctions. <laughs> and now he's going to jail for saying something that was obviously clear to anybody who had half a brain. While North Korea is trying to develop a cryptocurrency, after fucking uh, 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 the motherfucker Murado down in Venezuela created his own petro cryptocurrency, which is completely worthless, the government is going to throw Virgil Griffith in jail. Now, Virgil Griffith, I don't know, he's kind of a hero in a way. I wanted to say he's a hero, but I don't know how much of a hero he can be for being such so stupid to do something like this. Although the story's very compelling. Apparently, when he was arrested at LAX and he was questioned by the FBI, the story says that he didn't ask for any attorneys and he freely shared with the FBI photos of him at the NPRK. And then, then, then I saw this photo that Roger Ver published from some other person I have no idea who he was of him standing on a stage and it's this fucking totally uh, like total blocky uh, 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 edit of a guy on a stage and then a, a background a slide of how to avoid sanctions it looks totally fucking doctored the evidence that Roger Ver used to say that this guy Griffith is in jail uh, Mr. Griffith is in jail Virgil, uh, it, it's like really really fucking scary Although Roger showed us his new uh, P2P card where he has Bitcoin Cash on it. And it looks fucking compelling. It's coming soon, man. The next pump's going to come and everybody's going to get some. Everybody's going to get some. It's going to be fucking frightening. And I have a feeling... I don't know. I have a feeling. I, I, I just see uh, uh, more scams coming and more people buying into them. Anyways, Virgil. He's in jail. He fucking uh, showed the police without any uh, uh, lawyers present all the evidence that would have convicted him of doing what he is being accused of doing. And actually, apparently the word on the street is that he actually had the FBI agreeing with him as far as whatever explanation he gave uh, about his conduct and about his activity over in the North Korea doing um, sh sharing with them how to avoid sanctions. I find it compelling, though, that, that, that the idea that uh, uh, getting individuals... Well, first off... About Virgil, again, uh, uh, Griffith, he did uh, uh, the wiki scan back in 07, 08, and he fucking totally outed all the different people that were editing Wikipedia and who they were and where they came from, which immediately was stopped because it's obvious those that are creating the propaganda need in every way, shape, and form not to let you know 
where the origin of the propaganda that programs you and makes you believe the lies that you live in, um, you can't know those things. Because if you know those things, you'd know the truth. And you definitely can't handle the fucking truth. You can't handle the truth! Right? That's the fact! So you need to be told stories like this Virgil fucking Griffith story. We want to be felt good that we're doing something. But if Virgil was had half a brain, he'd be on the tip that I am. He'd be talking about transparency, immutability, and the participation thereof on behalf of individuals. Yet he's going to a government and he's doing this. His last tweet was a tweet in, in, from, from Singapore where he's trying to relocate. And his tweet said something in reference to um, all the different governments around the world and how they uh, 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 look into cryptocurrency. It's a kind of wonderful little piece of information insofar as if you're trying to battle Goliath and you think you're fucking David. Get over yourself. You're not. You're going to fucking... You try to go up against David and, and if you're not ready for it, I don't see Virgil... Griffith in a position to do something. I just don't see any prelim up to it. What's, what's I, I just see a total psyop. I do not see any of the story being very real at all anywhere. Some guy that smart created Wikiscan. He's moving out of here because he really sees the opportunity for blockchain in Asia, which is totally obvious. And then he goes to a, a cryptocurrency conference and speaks specifically to how North, I mean, was it a comedy act? If it was a comedy act, I would have fucking... I would, where is this video of him doing this? Or where is any content or any reference to any any facts? Because this is all hearsay. And apparently he told the FBI what he did. So, I don't know, man. I want to say this guy was hero number one, Virgil Griffith, but I'm not sure yet. I think this is a big fucking scare tactic to let you know that you know you have masters and you need to oblige by them. Virginia's making it perfectly clear you can't walk in a parade with a gun anymore. Unless you're a cop. They didn't put that in there. They didn't put that shit in there. But if you're fucking anybody who's not fucking sanctioned by the fucking, your dictator, your fucking overlord, your ruler, you're going to go to jail for having a gun. It's coming. They're making fucking criminals out of good people, good people with guns. The only ones left that'll make the world a decent place. They're, they're coming after them, and they will be criminals. And then soon enough, it's going to be you because you eat meat, not worms. And you breed. As soon as you start breeding, the, what's coming to this government is in, in your world, unless you have any fucking... We're going to really see if there's any spines left in this country. At least, hopefully, in my lifetime. I'm, I'm truly being entertained here. Truly being entertained. Thank you for the entertainment. I am happy to watch, and even happier to participate in what I believe is the best thing to ever happen to human beings is the ability to participate uh, in and amongst each other with immutable transparency. So everybody knows who you are and what you did. Just like when you live in a fucking small little town. When I grew up in my street, every single person on the block, by the time you were 10 years old, you knew the last name and the name of every single person and what room in that house they lived in in that entire block, if not a few block radius of you. Those days are coming back. And if they're not, you're fucked. Because you're going to live in a pod and you won't even know what the person next to you's fucking gender, whether or not they even have a gender, in, in the pod immediately in that few inches next to you, you won't even have a clue who they were. Just like Matrix. Remember the Matrix? That's what's coming. And if you want that, fucking keep buying the shit that they're selling you. Believe that Virgil fucking went to North Korea and fucking did something so stupid with no fucking idea of how that would benefit anybody Except some story and some fucking a powerful person. That's the only person who's benefiting off this story of Virgil going to North Korea and, and telling the North Koreans how to fucking avoid sanctions by using cryptocurrency. When everybody in the world that has half a clue, that's a half, half-witted distributed ledger uh, technologist, could easily have shared with them. They already are on their way to creating their own cryptocurrency. And, and he's telling them how they can do it with Ethereum. I just... I don't see, I don't buy one fucking iota of this story. You know? It's just like me listening to Heem telling you how Token Air is gonna go up. You fuck with the Token Air. Get the motherfuckers who put all their, all those ambassadors who stuff their pockets, all those fuck with hole, hole in his mouth, fucking Heem, fucking uh, uh, the leader of the pack, the biggest ego in the world. Who looks like he's permanently stoned. I wish I could smoke what Trev smokes. Because that guy looks like he's totally stoned all the time. Um, yeah. Get those fuckwits to put every fucking dime they got out of Token Air back in. And then you might be able to believe what they're trying to tell you. But ultimately, they're just fucking trying to tell you to put more of your shit in there. So they can stuff it in their fat pockets. You in Token Air is the equivalent of a fucking five foot four white dude who's never worked out taking a shower 
with the, all the best professional athletes in the NFL who haven't had sex in years. You're bending over amongst a bunch of big dicks if you're playing in token air. And that's the facts, brother. That's the facts. <laughs> Pyrobank, Aether, come on, get a clue, boys and girls. <laughs>